So before we turn it into an executable, there's just one small thing that I wanted to show you guys. So right now in this calculator, there's this feather icon which is of tkinter over here. But we don't want this. We want a calculator icon. So for that, I've imported this logo.ico file. So basically, it's just a just an image of a calculator which I downloaded from Google and using a converter. So if you just Google convert image to ICO file, you can do that. So you convert any calculator image to dot ICO format. So this ICO format is basically a format to store icons which are very small images. So to add this logo, so basically you just convert it and then add the logo file to the folder in which your calculator.py is and then you just add screen dot icon bitmap and then add the path of your ICO file which for me is just logo.ico because I've imported it over here but if you have not and it's in some other folder then you can just copy the path and paste it over here so now if I run it you can see that the calculator icon is over here. So now this application is ready to be converted into an executable. We are going to create a new file over here called calculator setup. And now we are going to use a library called CX freeze. So from CX freeze import star so basically this library is used to convert programs into executable files so the way to do that is basically you can google and find this out for yourself as well as most of the code is in a specific format and you just have to copy paste it with certain changes in your code but i'll just do it for you right now so first we create include files so Basically, this contains all the files that we want to include in our code. For us, right now, it's logo.ico. And you enter the path of the file over here. So since it's relative path and it's just inside, so I just put this. If there are multiple, then you can enter more over here, like logo1.ico and so on. Right now, it's just one for us. You put the base as none. Base is basically the platform that you're working on and after you do this you put if sys dot platform equal to win32 basis win32 gui so this is something that i've picked it off the net and it works so what this basically means that sys is the system it checks the platform that you're working on and makes a file accordingly because different platforms will have different files, right? So for Windows, it checks if it's Win32 and then it puts the base as this. For different platforms, you'll have different base versions which you can enter over here, which you can Google it out. So once this is done, we come to the setup part. So setup. So in the setup, I will name the version. For me, the version will be 1.0 then I'll add the author's name which is me so author is mud codes then I'll name my app so the name of my app is calculator and then we come to options so in options there's the first field which is build exe so options is a dictionary so over here we have include files first and for include files we enter our include files a uh, list that we created over here so the first part of the dictionary which i add over here write it as it is because it is in a specific format so don't make any changes in this part this you can name however you want so once this dictionary is added you have something called vdist msi this contains all the data of your application and whether you want to create a shortcut and so on so for 
pdist msi have data over here which will include a lot of things now so it will first include shortcut and it will first include shortcut and copy the shortcut as it is So this is what you add for shortcut which is the desktop shortcut the directory the name of your application the components the target and then these are some arguments so this is the argument this is for the argument this is the description this is something called as the hotkey this is the icon this is icon index and this is show cmd and this is the work directory so these are some things which you need to add so don't make any changes for this shortcut part and just make sure to put the name of your application here and the name of your application here that's all that you have to make changes to over here okay so sorry this is a list which contains the tuple so i'll just change that sorry this is a list which contains the tuple so i'll just add that over here and now we are done with the options part so this is the options bracket let's just get it over here and now we come to the executables so executables you add the executable over here the script so over here you add which script you want to run so we want to run calculator so calculator.py so this is the file which contains all of our code so we are running that if you have a program which has multiple files like suppose you define all the functions of calculator in another class called calculator functions then you just need to write the main file over here if it calls other files and takes functions from it or like refers to other classes then it will be done automatically and you don't need to write all the files over here but if you want to create multiple executables then you write like comma separated other python file then you write the base which is base which we defined over here above and then you create the icon for the app right so the icon will just have the same logo but if you want to create another icon you can add another one and just add it to the include files over here so for the executable i think we should import sys executable so from sys import executable okay so there's an error over here okay hmm there's an extra comma over here sorry yeah so now this file is ready let's just save it so in order to run this file you open the folder where this file is uh, located so basically you open calculator so i've already opened the folder and now over here i will type cmd so now that i have the path of this folder over here in order to create that executable i will type python and then the name of the file which is calculator setup dot py and then bdist underscore msi and now i will run this so it will take some time to run and build the entire executable file depending on your computer okay so now it's done yeah so now you can see there are these extra files over here and inside dist you will have the calculator setup and when you double click it it will install it i want to install it in the same folder so once this is installed you will have a proper executable file 
like when I click calculator I'll have an app over here for calculator and when I hit it it will open a proper fully fledged app which works perfectly if you like this video then please do hit the like button and do let me know how you like this project and if you were able to create it and if you can add any more advancement to the calculator or add more functions then comment down below that's it from my side